Imagine with me for a moment that you are out with your team that you're currently a part of. You're out for a day of maybe strategic planning or team building, but your whole team's there. Everyone's together and you've been kind of working through the morning and you come in to get lunch and you're in a cafeteria setting. And I got a question for you. You're in that setting, there's something delicious on the menu, you're excited about lunch and everybody starts to line up to get food. Who gets to go first? Is it the boss? Is it the CEO? Maybe it's the owner? Like who actually gets to line up first and grab lunch in the organization that you're a part of? Is it you? Simon Sinek wrote this great book called Leaders Eat Last and in it he talks about the Marines and if you were a part of the Marines and you were in that situation where you're getting there and you're lining up for lunch in a mess hall or whatever it is, cafeteria style setting, at the Marines, the officers, the leaders actually eat last. It's a part of their culture. Generally, the most junior person actually goes to eat first. That's what Simon talks about in his book, this idea that leaders eat last. And he kind of makes you pause for a second and go, well, hold on a second. You mean, so if I'm in a leadership position, they take care of their team, they take care of the people first, and then the leaders eat last. Well, it's like, well, well, hold on that like last, like I'm the leader, I'm the, I'm the owner, I'm the CEO, I'm the boss, whatever that is that you think you might be, shouldn't I get to go first? So as I was thinking about this idea that everyone should really want to grow as a leader in 2023, I had to touch on this point of like Simon Sinek's book, you know, Leaders Eat Last and just check motivations really quick. You know, like why do you want to be a leader in 2023? Well, here's two ideas that shouldn't be your motivation for stepping into leadership. The first one would probably be money. Like if you're just pursuing, I want to be a leader because I want more money, more financial resources in my life. Yes, there are opportunities, many opportunities for more financial resources as a leader, but if that that is your sole purpose, you're going to be frustrated because you know, when you take on leadership, you take on responsibility, you take on challenges. And if the only thing you're in it for is for the money, you're going to be disappointed because the juice isn't going to be worth the squeeze. It's going to be more challenging than you think it's going to be for the money that you think you should be earning. And the second reason that really shouldn't be your motivation is if you're in pursuit of power, like if you just want to be able to make the decisions and be quote unquote powerful, whatever that means to you. But if that's your pursuit, I don't believe that's what leadership is in 2023. I don't believe that, you know, that sort of person sitting in the corner office with the premier parking spot, there's so much more that goes into it. It's so much more about caring for your people. But if you're just in pursuit, suit of power, I think you're going to be, again, sorely disappointed as you step into that leadership journey going, okay, so yes, I get the opportunity to make more decisions, but it's actually the weight of more responsibility. Power doesn't look anything like maybe you thought it did or should. And if you're going to be an effective leader and communicating and connecting with others, you're actually there really to serve your team, to serve your team and making sure that they can hit their goals so the organization can hit its goals. And power isn't really a part of the equation. So if leadership isn't about more money, the corner office, the premium parking spot, more power, why pursue it? Why pursue leadership growth? Well, I'm guessing that if you and I had a conversation, there might be a couple of points that you and I would resonate together on. And I think that one of those things is that I believe that you want to be an impact player as you head into 2023. You want to make an impact. You want to make the teams that you're a part of better. You want to make the environment that you're a part of better. You want to be able to impact people's lives and leave things better than you found them. And if that resonates with you, then the steps that lead towards being an impact player is through leadership. Because as John Maxwell says, you know, leadership is influence. Leadership is impact. And when you think about developing leadership skills, that means you're developing skills in communicating and connecting with other people. You're developing skills around decision making. You're developing skills around goal setting and vision casting. And you know, how do we bring people together and actually pursue a common goal? And so now you're sitting there and you're saying, yes, sign me up. I want to be a leader in 2023. Where do I apply? Should I be looking for a supervisor position, a manager position? Like what's the next steps? How do I, how do I step into a leadership position? Well, I'm not sure if you're going to like this, but guess what? you're actually already in the perfect leadership position that you need to be in. You're already in the right spot on your team because leadership always starts right here. It starts with self-leadership. It starts with taking responsibility in your own life and then developing out from there. Now that might not be the answer you're expecting, but as you take responsibility in your own life, as you begin to show up consistently, regardless of the ups and downs of life that we all experience, if you're able to start to show up consistently, actually be a person of your word, deliver on what it is you say you're gonna deliver, you know what happens when you do that is you actually begin to gain influence with the people that are on your team because people start to recognize that you're someone that can be consistent, that can be relied upon, that actually delivers on what it is that they say that they're gonna do because you take responsibility in your life and then as you gain that influence with other people, now all of a sudden, John Maxwell, leadership is influence. You start to become a leader in the group, even if you don't have the position or title that you think you might need to be a leader.
when I look back at the different organizations that I've had an opportunity to be a part of, the opportunity to serve different teams, whether in a leadership position or not, and I've had the opportunity over a number of years to be in positions of hiring people, promoting people from within the organization, hiring from outside, and one thing that always sets people apart is their ability in leadership skills. It's their ability to show up consistently, to be able to connect with others. And it doesn't matter what organizations I've been a part of in all these different industries that I've worked in. Leadership always sets different candidates apart. Yes, you need to bring a skill set to the table that you know that particular position is looking for, but the differentiator is your ability to be consistent, your ability to show up, connect with people, communicate. How do you communicate? Can you be consistent? All of these different things that are part of being a leader. That's what's going to set you apart and that's what's going to open up the doors of opportunity for you to be the impact player that I know you're looking to become. So I want to encourage you today as you're looking at your goals for next year, your dreams for next year and planning out where are you going to invest your time. Add leadership growth to that list. Invest in that growth and let's all be the leaders that we wish we had. I hope you have an absolutely blessed rest of your day and I look forward to connecting with you again next week.